So now we're going to talk about a specific type of binary tree called a binary search tree. So what we saw in the last video, we created a binary tree, but it was not a binary search tree. So the best way to explain them is to just build one out and show how we build this. So let's say we have a tree that only has one item in it at the top, and then we're going to add an item to the tree. We're going to add this node down here. So with a binary search tree, if this new node at the bottom, the 76 node, if it is greater than the 47, it's going to go on the right. If it's less than, it's going to go on the left. And of course, 76 is greater than, so we're going to put it on the right. Now let's add another node. So when we add the next node, we are also going to compare it against that top node. The 52 is greater than 47, so we are going to go to the right. But because there's an item there to the right, the 76 node, we now have to compare that to the 76 node. And when the node is less than, we go left and we place it there. Let's just add a few more. 21, we always are going to start at the top. It is less than the 47. The spot to the left of the 47 is open. So we're going to place it there. 82, we're going to compare it to the 47, go right. Compare it to the 76, we're going to go right again, and that spot is open, so we place it. 18 is less than 47, we go left. It is also less than 21, we go left again. That spot is open, we place it. And 27, we start at the top with the 47. We go left, compare it to the 21, it's greater than the 21. And to the right of the 21 is open, so we place it there. So one of the things I want to point out here is that all of the items to the right of the 47 are greater than 47. All of the items to the left are less than. And then also, if you look at the 21, everything to the left of the 21 is going to be less than, and everything to the right is going to be greater than, no matter how big this tree gets. And that is the structure of binary search trees.